Hi, this is Bukhari. I was going. I was designing my website, and I was having difficulties making image slider. And now that um, I have done some homework and YouTube videos and other tutorials, I found a way to make a beautiful image slider very quickly and very quickly. And thought that I would share share with you guys. Hopefully you can benefit from from this tutorial on how to make a beautiful image slider in Dreamweaver CS6 using jQuery library and a jQuery cycle plugin JavaScript file and, and basically this is super easy super cool super quick so let's get into it before I start I, I need to show you that I was my my uh, prototype web designing uh, this is for this is this is in Photoshop CS6 and this is my prototype Photoshop uh, website design and uh, this is going to be the basically the uh, image slider so uh, this is the I'll show you the fully working version of this one so this is the real working version function fully functional image slider and nice and beautiful clean so let's get into it so um, before we start we need to open dream over CS6 file new create new media title in the body tag insert div this time uh, the ID is going to be called wrapper. That's okay. Delete the text. And within this wrapper ID, we need to put another ID. Insert div tag. We're gonna call it a uh, container. Press OK. Delete the text because I wouldn't need that those text texts. And uh, within this container tag ID dividing. We need to put we need to insert another ID. This is going to be a class ID. Class, this is going to be a class, and we're gonna call it controller. Press OK. And we're gonna delete the text again. And now we're gonna copy this div class from beginning to end. Copy it, command C in my Mac and paste it twice. And in the middle one. We are gonna change the class to ID and we're gonna name this ID slider. Okay, so far so good. Now we need to do some put some uh, CSS rules for this. A wrapper, okay. The block will be let's put it in this block. Box will be 960 width. I would be 720%. Press OK. So now selecting the con container, uh, we need to give the CSS rule. Less a specific compound base. OK. Background. We're gonna give a we're gonna give a light yellow color to know the know the container to understand the container spaces. Basically. We're gonna give it a block which is going to be a block. Uh, box would be 960 and that would be 720 pixels. Floating would be left. Border. That's container. Overflow would be auto. Press OK. Now in this slider. Now we now we're gonna go work with the controller. Selecting the controller text in here in class and controller text. Come in here, put it uh, previous P R E V. That's gonna add the ID for us. Previous. Selecting the bottom controller, we're gonna put it next text in there, and that's gonna add the ID for us. So we have the wrapper container. Within the container, we have the controller, which has I did previous and that is covering the slider and the controller ID with, with ID with next next functionality okay so 
um, we need to add the arrow buttons in the container in the slider so selecting the previous text add a CSS rule there's a specific compound base ok in the background browse uh, left arrow this is a white arrow that's why you can't see yet but we're gonna see it repeat will be no repeat x y position will be center block will be display block box would be the width of the arrow is 100 pixel pixels and the height would be the, that's the basic height of the arrows uh, but you can you can adjust the total height of the container by putting 720 that will cover all the total height of the container in a slider and it will be floating left bottom none position would be relative z index will be 99 because that is because we want our arrows to be on top of the images so okay now we need to select the next id give it a css rule less specific compound base press ok background browse right arrow this time press ok repeat no repeat x y position will be center block will be display block box is 100 pixel width and 720 pixel height floating will be right because uh, this is the right arrow it will be in the it will be in the right position so floating right uh, bottom and position will be relative z index will be 99 press ok so so far so good uh, in now sli selecting the slider um, give it a CSS rule less specific compound base ok um, display block box would be 960 and the height would be 720 pixels floating will be left or none position will be absolute overflow will be hidden and this hidden option is going to help us by not showing the all the images stacking on top of each other so it is hidden so there will be one image only but there will be more images below it you can't see that's because of the hidden option so press ok we want our total wrapper in the middle so selecting the wrapper id actually we have already have the wrapper id in here we double click in here uh, come into in the, in, click in the box margin would be auto that will centralize the uh, total wrapper in the middle so so far so good now we need to add the images in the slider so you make sure you put in here cursor insert image we're gonna put three images we're gonna skip this one for this tutorial insert another image so the last image we're gonna put in this slider just stay with me you will find it very easy to understand and make it so we're gonna do some housekeeping work in here a little bit so that everything else got organized and easy to understand so uh, okay so far so good uh, if we press live in here we see everything is in order like as it should be everything is perfect precisely in the position right position so now we're gonna add the functionality JS, javascript uh, jquery library and the plugins jquery plugins and we got it from i got it from the javascript file javascript jquery from here if you press download i that's gonna take it to the link page yeah, i download this one or this one both of them is fully functional so you i downloaded this one already now we're gonna click you're gonna come here and this is um 
mouseup.com slash jquery slash cycle plugin side jquery plugin this is the plugin uh, jquery file we're gonna use from from this side we download it from here and we're gonna copy this functionality from here because we have previous and next button in our slider so we're gonna simply copy it command C and Mac you're gonna minimize this window now we're gonna add the JavaScript file come here script press ok ok jQuery first jQuery file jQuery JavaScript library then press enter one more time one more time you need to press in here to add the jQuery cycle plugin open ok now press enter one more time we're gonna put the function So far so good we're getting in there we are almost finished yes guys we are almost finished making this uh, slideshow uh, this is it is having a fade effect we didn't want that we want I'll we'll show you what we want okay we want To get more effects you come here browse effect click in here these are the effects you can put in there so we're gonna for this this purpose we're gonna put this one horizontal scroll command c and mac select the fade button paste now we are gonna change this it's one because seven, we have 15. you remember we have next controller next and previous previous and next so it is going to be the same in here we remove two from both of them and uh, and this part is going to be the our slider id it's called slider we just simply copy it from here just come and see paste it in here that's it that's it. it is done guys the slider is ready to roll this is complete super fast super cool super easy trust me if you have followed my steps in here it's really piece of cake and very easy to make so um, this is it now we're gonna save it control s and slider call it slider 2 maybe that's okay now we're gonna check it in safari there you go this is our fully functional uh, image slideshow So there you go. This is a fully functional image, beautiful image slideshow in no time. That was the previous one I showed you before we started this tutorial, and this is the final version of the slideshow that we created in Dreamweaver 6. So hopefully, you will be benefiting from it, and maybe you will be sharing with others so that others can be benefited and learn from it maybe yeah maybe it can be the uh, it can be a piece of inspiration maybe i don't know um okay thank you for watching my tutorial and uh, hope to see you again if you like it give us give it a thumbs like thumbs up or subscribe maybe it's up to you so enjoy this is the final fully functional slideshow image slideshow you can put anything you know and you can also even customize the arrows giving transparency blocks and other stuffs i'll show i'll do that in other tutorials maybe so take care bye thank you for watching